listening to Gas Digital, Best of the Week. Cutting and being like, oh, girl, come on. Hang on one second. How serious, honey? Is it real serious? Is this your husband? No, you just met him, right? What? You met him on New Year's? What does he do for work? IT. He's IT. Okay. Uh, what do you What do you do? No, no, he's it. He's a killer clown. <laughs> <laughs> he what? murders children in sewers. What do you uh, What do you do for work? That's a good joke, Bob. I'm a doctor. <laughs> Sorry. You're a doctor. You're a hot doctor. You're a hot doctor. <laughs> yeah. You're a doctor. Doctors, let me tell you something, Lewis. I'm telling you, me and Patricia talk about this all the time. Dirtiest fucking people, girls in the world, doctors. Look at me, doctors and lawyer, do, do, lawyers, because they spent all their time when they should have been banging in school, and now she's a doctor. She's banging everybody. <laughs> look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. You're you like dirty, right? You role play that you're a patient. I mean, you're here. <laughs> this is some weird fantasy. He, he this is. Here. But yeah. it's good so far. You like it, but oh, so you didn't you, you didn't know the show. He's a fan of the show. Yes. What, this guy's an idiot. Does he not read people at all? Oh this gorgeous doctor, he's like, let me go to the racist podcast that I like. <laughs> Dude, well, you love this. This fucking IT nerd scooped yeah. up a doctor on New yeah. Year's. Smoking and he goes, doctor. Here, it's our third date. Let me bring yeah. you to the Legion of Skanks. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like Cameron Diaz and Meg Ryan together. It's it's their first date. I mean, look at her. I, I'll go home Can right now. Look you, at me. What's your you name? Would you be on camera, miss? Would you be on camera? I don't, I don't know if you're on camera. On What's camera. your name? You are? What's your name? Where's she on camera? No, no she's not. Names. Just make up a name. I don't give a fuck, really. Sarah. Sarah. I will right. dump my wife. Look at me. I will go home and drip. <laughs> I will take my wife out by the ankles tonight. Your wife. I will throw in a snowbank in Westchester. <laughs> if you listen to me. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Right, right, right. I'm kidding. <laughs> Um, you can let the nerd watch. I don't give a shit. I got listen to me. I got a fucking Oculus Quest at my house. We'll hook him up into that va- that fucking Star Wars fucking game. He'll be done for two hours. I need three minutes. Maybe I'd be into it. Who knows? Uh, ah, yes, I still got it. <laughs> Look at that. Well. You, so what type of doctor are you? Who cares? Uh, <laughs> I'll tell you. She's going to be a fucking ass doctor at my house. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> oh, shh, shh, So anyways, when I was a little boy, that's when I realized how I could really make a difference. Uh, and I great. could be a good husband and a good father, too. Wow. Okay. Wow, Bobby. It's amazing. Guys, thanks for having me on. Bobby. Hey. Bobby. Bobby. Bobby, Bobby, Bobby. I love you guys. That was literally you. the most what inspirational in, story that I've ever heard in my entire life. What an inspirational story. Thank you very much. I'm like, um, I'm touched. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really glad we got that story out. <laughs> so anyway, Lewis, back to your story. <laughs> back to your story. Uh, <laughs> okay, so far into this story. <laughs> oh, motherfucker. <laughs> When's this podcast come out? Uh, Friday on iTunes. Uh, hey, dude, Friday iTunes. <laughs> <laughs> that was very inspirational. But you guys, I mean, get, you not get, only did you bring a girl to Legion of Skanks, but you left her at Legion of Skanks, <laughs> and you're a fan of this show. We triple teamed her while you were in the bathroom. <laughs> Tripled. She loved it. <laughs> Two and a half. T- yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It, but yeah. let's give but look, me an I did. I did some deep diving, like because sometimes I like to watch like horrible black shows. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's so fun! Like, if, you, if you go on Amazon, oh, they got man. like this these shitty black <laughs> like movies and yeah. shit. Yeah. And you just watch them like as a black person, you know it's fucked up, but you right. can't help, help just right. to see niggas on the screen doing the dumb shit. You know what I mean? So I'm like, God damn! And that's how that shit is because yeah. he writes. All his movies alone. We know that, and that's so. The I had one of his movies on with the captions on. What? I'm sitting next to my wife. Yeah, and I'm like, look, each character is only saying one sentence, and this went on and on. Wow, one sentence. 
You going to the store? No, I'm not going to the store. <laughs> oh, just terrible. <laughs> like it was this one sentence lines oh. between each character. And wow. one of the greatest and one of the most hilarious things in a Tyler Perry film. Oh. Look at what the extras are doing. Because oh. them motherfuckers are acting hard <laughs> as fuck in the background. When okay. I tell you them niggas okay. need Oscars. <laughs> Here. So I'll, listen, I'll, listen. I'm, I'm going to be a shitty background actor. Right? <laughs> I like this. Yeah, so I'm talking to you. <laughs> you know, I'm just sitting here talking to you. We acting it out. Right. And look, and look <laughs> like, that's what's going on. I'm going to look over by the camera. I'm going to look over by the camera. Ah, that's what... Yo, I'm talking about yo, man. You're trying to get niggas that, you're need trying to get Oscars. people to recognize you, like man. Come on, man, it's crazy. Like wow. one dude, he's just going off with the hand motions. Yeah, just, shit, just... It's whack. I'm like, <laughs> the worst is when it's the dancing. You ever see the dancing extras no. when it's like a party and there's some woman going, "Is that my phone? Fuck!" <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. All these motherfucking broads want to call me. Fuck out of here. Fuck now look, here. now I like I like Tyler Perry. What he's done, I, I got love to work what he's done. on the Tyler Perry studio. Yes, how was I it? love what it. it's, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Oh, been there? State of the art. What you did yes. a film on there? I helped out. I, I'm not gonna say in what capacity. Okay, right, right, I got right. an NDA on that, but I helped out with Bad Boys for Life. Fuck. I helped out with Bad Dope. Boys. Dope. Dope. Yeah. And that movie. Broke it, right, it, 60, I did. It million. was they call me in. They call me in to do uh, do what I had to do for one day. Nice. Um, and I end. I met Will Smith. He's a nice guy, man. Nice, very brother, nice man. guy. And I didn't. I didn't think I would meet him. So yeah. it was just me and the other guy came yeah. on set or whatever. And we talking, and uh, we in front of the trailer, and Will Smith comes out of this motherfucker. <laughs> Yeah. This nigga was had like a little light around. It was like yeah. he was emanating. Yeah. yeah, you know. And he came up to me, dapped me up. And was, the white dude and well, uh, uh, Lavar is well, well, Lavar. And I tried to play that shit cool. You know what I mean? I'm like, yeah, what's happening? But then I had to enjoy the moment. Yeah. And I said, you know what? Fuck this. And I looked at Will. I said, man, this shit ain't real, bro. I can't believe this shit. Yeah, fuck, just keep it real. You know what I'm saying? And then he laughed and shit. He laughed. <laughs> and yeah, 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 just laughing. money, like money, money falling out, out of his, his fucking, fucking face. mouth, man. You rich and bastard. And he was just super cool. He's man. a cool and, dude. And the and the and those studios that Tyler's built are like state of the art, brand new studios, brand new. man. It's his. Soundproof. All his. And a lot of those big scenes. I mean, for people that've seen Bad Boys for Life, are on that that Damn. sound stage. I'm Look talking about the big shit, shit blowing up and everything. This is all on a black man's fucking life. Right. And so I what what it. he's done is genius. Of um, course. But, the, but some of the movies, I mean A lot of them are you know, ugh. And, and, and I tell jokes that suck sometimes. Me too. But you my thing me? is so, this. My you know, this. I'm not hating. <laughs> my <laughs> thing is this. It's not about hating. <laughs> but I think you should be able to criticize bad quality when you hear it. Yeah. I think that I think that me, I personally think Tyler Perry should designate more writers, like hire black writers, yeah, motherfucker. Stop. Yeah. He goes, because there's one poster that says, I write, I direct, I go, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I write everything, I know. Dude, this motherfucker <laughs> doing the makeup, everything. <laughs> <laughs> he doing the makeup, the best, acting, best every boy, goddamn electric thing. Boy, like, electric shit, man. Can somebody make some... a dollar? Yeah. <laughs> God damn. That's the problem. I'm like, listen, <laughs> Tyler Perry has the studio. Obviously, uh, I'm happy for him. Now, how are you going to designate? Are you going to hire writers? Are you going to? Because you know when we get shit and it's like, yay! But then it's like, okay, now wait a minute. Not a, what's going on? Not people are still looking for work. What's going on? Uh, and then it's like Apple TV. Apple TV has a new like thing going on, right? Mm -hmm. But it's all the same actors that already have shit that are over at Apple TV. Mm -hmm. I go, what the fuck is going on? I thought there'd be like some, there'll be some opportunities. No, bro, he's giving. I, he not not giving. not Tyler. Tyler gives opportunities to yeah. people who aren't even working. Oh yeah, that's what I, I mean. Like. He might give you eight hundred dollars for that motherfucker, but, but, but <laughs> you gonna get it. <laughs> <laughs> this motherfucker the lead of the move for eight hundred, nigga. <laughs> 
<laughs> but you gonna, you gonna get that exposure, guy. You know what I'm saying? You gonna motherfucking get somebody gonna see your ass at you the end of that shit. You're gonna get eight hundred dollars for that lead. <laughs> for that lead, goddamn it! <laughs> hey, I'm gonna shoot that bitch in four days. Yo. He shot. He <laughs> shot the movie in five days. What? The one we just saw. The yeah, trailer. he did. Five fucking I can tell. Days. Come on, five days. That's like a inst- that's like so a that, hour so that, Instagram skit. Did you, that, yeah, he did a skit. It was a skit. <laughs> yeah, that Lord. was a skit. That was a Netflix skit. Five fucking days, man. I can what? Tell. Five I can tell. days? He don't give a dog. He putting that shit out. But I guess I'm like he doing it on the fly. If I guess if it's profitable. No, man. Other companies are going to try to catch up. Because he say why he do it. I do it because I own the studio. Yeah. But I don't I don't need to answer questions. Oh, man. See, that's the, that's the only part I'm afraid of. Like, it's going to be like, hey, we're writers, to Mr. Perry. Can we, like, write some stuff? Can we, like, can designate other kind of views? Because he doesn't have another point of view. Yeah. And a lot of times, like you said, Tyler Perry, it's always black dudes ain't shit type of shit. I'm yeah, not trying to be mean, yeah, but yeah. he's like the Alice Walker of fucking film. Yeah, I like know. shitting on black dudes all yeah. the time. I think maybe it comes from him having an abusive father. All right, but you're <laughs> loaded now. That shit, your yeah. abusive father Dude, got you that, loaded. You know that pain. You but sometimes write that, that pain, pain gets you so money. people can feel that shit. They won't I, feel that pain. But man. the pain ain't there. Now it's the pain of the fucking dialogue. <laughs> Come on, man. That's the pain we feel. And we don't we ain't feel anything. See, Godfrey, man. See, Godfrey, black ass would be a villain in that motherfucker. <laughs> and I'll have one Bitch, line. Bitch, I told you I'm leaving your ass. <laughs> <laughs> He's like this. I just don't think you have the money for me, ho. <laughs> from the director of all his own films. The writer, director of all and, his and films. And the motherfucker always start out, he was a loving man, oh. a pastor. Yes. <laughs> he <laughs> took his daughters out every and day. And then Tyler Perry will play a role. But ball. then it all changed. <laughs> Bitch, I said, get out of my face! <laughs> and Tyler Perry will play the lawyer. We can take him to court. I'm like, stop, Tyler. Tyler could have had someone else play that oh, role, but oh, he had to play it. Oh shit! He has because he oh, tries shit. to shake off that Medea with a lawyer oh, part. Oh my god! Like, and, and, yeah. and listen, <laughs> yo, like we got love for you, bro. I, I oh no, God. we got love for oh, Tyler no, yeah. Perry. No, no we, we do, man. We no, can make fun. No, 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 oh, yeah, no. Yeah. This dude, I got a lot of love for that. Brother. Yeah, Tyler's killing it for real. Like, but we're gonna make fun. We're we comics. just fucking with you, we're T- fucking with you Tyler. TP, Tyler Perry. But I hope it would be nice. I want to see that studio. I hope I'm doing something it's on that gorgeous, studio. Gorgeous. I want to be doing I mean, something that on that shit studio. Is like a dream, bro. Damn. Yeah. And it's he owns it. It's no he like owns. white partner on the side Fuck bullshit. No. Fuck he no. owns all. I hope it I think it's it, like 350 acres or something. They should call it Damn. Fuck No Studios. It's 350 Fuck no studio. fucking acres, dude. Where is it in a uh... It's in, in Atlanta. Atlanta, right, Georgia. Yep, he turned one of the hoods into Look at this that shit. shit. Look at this it shit. was a military base. And it's yeah, yeah. It looks like a college. And that shit in the hood, like you drive off that ladder, you hey, goddamn. Uh, oh, shit, that? what the fuck y'all talking about, right? What uh, the fuck? So wait a minute, but is it it's secured though, right? Yeah, he got some guards. Oh no, son. <laughs> oh shit, eight hundred dollars. Guards. <laughs> what guard? What you? A couple of motherfuckers missing some teeth when up with No, <laughs> no, come on, man, no. Hey, girl, you you got your ID? <laughs> no, they, they don't need to know. I need to say where they where you go. All <laughs> oh, right, you're right there, the bad boys. Okay, I tell you, man, you take care. Four, it was about four guards. It was about about six teeth between all four of them, mother. <laughs> like they shared it too. They pulled one out. You going on lunch? All right, you take that too. I'm gonna need the two back now, Charlie. <laughs> Well, shit, we still got security. We got all these people coming through the gate. <laughs> That's all they talk about. <laughs> I can't fuck with that. Um, so uh, with other, other political figures, uh, Hillary Clinton, I think, was in the Hollywood Reporter trashing the shit out of Bernie Sanders. She's a bitch, bro. What do you mean? Yo, how you going to trash the dude because he beat you? She, she said, beat her. She said he nobody him. likes him. You know how he you know how I he mean beat to be him? fair, imagine trying to split a check with Bernie Sanders. Well, you paying for everything with Bernie. That's Bernie yeah. don't pay for shit, but I like that about <laughs> That's a straight hustle dude right yeah. there. He was in the Bronx, so he knows something. But I, like he beat Hillary, you know how? Because she's still talking about him. 
She should have made him a VP and shit. She would have won. But she wanted to be lazy and shit. Just undermine a man. Who was her VP in her, in her race? I can't even remember now. Tom, Tom Collins. Ka- Tim Kaine? <laughs> That's Fuck not him. even a man, bro. Yo, who was the weird dude that was in New York eating all them sandwiches and shit? He was on the Republican side. Oh, uh, K- Kasich? Kasich. It was Kasich. That dude yeah. was weird, son. I, I like to. He should have been a competitive eater where he was eating them sandwiches. Look up Kasich food. Wait, really? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, dog. Yeah, yeah. You didn't see this yeah, shit, dog. Hysterical. He was like in Little Italy gunning down meatballs. He's never had a meatball sub because he enjoyed the fuck out of that. Was he sick. was all over the place, all over New York, just fucking housing. Look at him, son. Yeah. That's a fuck him. He couldn't stop. Wait, but where's he, where's he from? Because I would also I think, oh, I be just housing I think, food if I was in New York. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like you, you, you know you're 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 almost. Look like, at him. You're a fringe candidate. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. Yo, down. He loves that shit it. That shit looks delicious. Wait, what restaurant is that? <laughs> Olive Garden. He doesn't uh, have that where he's from. He's uh, like unlimited. Mac- it's a macaroni grill. It's the only one we have. <laughs> I think that's in the Bronx. That's Arthur Avenue. Hell Bronx. yeah, he was gunning that shit out there. Yeah, good for him. They have his picture over the bar in that fucking uh, market. No, but good for him though. Huh? Get it. It's better than that spaghetti and ketchup they serve where he's fucking from. So, John, you're not a fan of Hillary. Nah, fuck that bitch, bro. I thought you voted for her. Nah. <laughs> a woman? Get the fuck out of here. You're so fucked up. <laughs> Who'd you vote for? I didn't have nobody in that race. It was going to be my man, but he didn't win, son. Who, Trump? Casey, dog. Oh, it was going to be Any John Any man Kasich. with that kind of appetite, we're going to get the whole world, man. <laughs> be everywhere in that bitch. You're not making any fucking sense. Look at that man's appetite. That says a lot about him sexually. I think that's a blood sugar thing. Pre- no, it's not a blood sugar thing. He's fit as a, a fucking like lean pole and shit. It's my man right there. A lean pole. <laughs> you know, lean. If you fit, fit you as lean. a lean pole. Hell yeah, Bruce Bruce Lee. Fucking lean as a lean pole, son. Well, he's Asian too, but I know Stanley. He's probably him. got the coronavirus in heaven now. Nah, he kicked the shit out of that thing. No, according to Once Upon a Time in uh. Hollywood, he can't beat no white man. So There's, I mean, who, you, who, <laughs> that's I mean, some funky shit, right? Brad there. Pitt was swole as fuck in that movie. That's true. He killed the woman. I give him credit on that shit and got away with it. <laughs> he not like that wife of his, huh? He, she was, she uh, was kind of cunty. She was bit of a nag. <laughs> Ain't they all right? You know what I'm saying, son? <laughs> <laughs> that's why, and that's why you think Hillary's a bitch for shitting on Bernie Sanders. Dog, any woman. That treats her husband the way she he she did to to fucking Bill. What'd she do to Bill? Bill was banging everything and fucking why though? Yeah, you... she she literally what? gaslit a bunch of rape victims. Yeah, yeah she's a fucking ride or die broad. Yeah. She's no, to she's the point not. where she's a bad Dog, person. Wait a minute. You know how many of those broads came out saying she threatened them? Like they were fucking getting fouled, like some Henry Hill yeah. type shit. Yes, that's, that's what we're fucking saying. Yeah, but she's she ride or die for Bill. She didn't do it for Bill, she did it for her fucking self. Like, look at her daughter Chelsea. That bitch ain't never done. Why she got a sixteen million dollar job? I think that. Tell me not though. It's uh, nepotism. Chelsea looks more think? like Chelsea looks more like socks the dog. Oh, she does shit, either Bill son. or Hillary Clinton. Damn. Pull up a picture we could have socks the we dog. We could have tied this into something too. You use that to her. <laughs> I'm saying you're saying Bill's fucking everything moving. I mean, Bill likes pussy. Yeah. Who does? He like fucking Bill couldn't love pussy so much. He was hanging out with Jeffrey Epstein. Yeah, I am front. There was a picture with him and fucking Kevin Spacey on that plane. That shit was creepy. Like, you a chick, you're not scared of Kevin Spacey because he's gunning for something else, but Bill over there, damn. But he's a cool dude. I don't think Bill's a rapist because he can play the saxophone. He's a good talker and shit. Orator, right? <laughs> orator, orator. Now, he ain't dead. He's still around, but he's yeah, good at right. what he does. You're right. Did you put a picture of the, uh, the Clinton's dog? Socks. I think Socks Obama. Was a, Socks was a cat. What was their dog? Pull up a picture of their dog. His right. Oh yeah, it was a cat. You silly motherfucker. No, they had a that's dog. That's how much pussy he liked. Floppy ears. No, that's Obama. That was Bo. Buddy. Is it? The Clintons' yeah. dog was a, uh, was Buddy. Buddy. But that's oh, not what that's a nice dog. Dog. That's a fucking singles. I might have been thinking pick. of Obama's dog. You're right, Johnny. <laughs> Look at that singles I, and mingles pick right there. He's down at DTF. <laughs> I, 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 that, dog. I've never seen this picture before. It's fucking hysterical. This is Bill fucks- Clinton. Hanging out on the White House lawn with his dog. With that dick pose, man. He's like trying to show off the bulge. It's not ready yet, but it's there. Look at them creases and them khakis, dog. I find his sweater odd. That's a nice sweater. That's a dis- disarming sweater right there. That's, uh, you wear that sweater? I'd rock the shit out of that sweater, son. Look at that shit. <laughs> it looks like an infinity gauntlet on his fucking chest. <laughs> That's a fucking man right there. 
Look at that delicious motherfucker right there. God it's, damn you. Would, would you if would you fuck Bill Clinton? Wait, I think I'm, you only don't like Hillary Clinton because you're trying to fuck Bill Clinton. Uh, I wouldn't you fuck fucking Bill Clinton. homo. I'm gonna let you right now. I would not fuck Bill Clinton. Bill Clinton would probably fuck me though, because that's what he does. I've heard he had so much ass. He went after men for a little. While. He had so much. I didn't think of Mick Jagger. No, he, no, he raped. They all do that. Hugh Hefner did it. Mick Jagger did it. You know Bill Clinton got some ass from whatever he wanted. You a fucking butler on the plane and shit on Air Force One. What? You want some ass? You think he ain't taking it? So fucking... you, you think that Bill Clinton was so jaded by sex in general that he just would sleep with men? Hugh or... Hefner said, yo, he got so much pussy at one point in his life, he just went for some ass. He was like, yo, something different. I've never had yeah, that problem. Yeah, but he just move an inch over? <laughs> he, yo, you think Hugh don't do anal? Hugh did anal, and he wanted to try it too. That's his lifestyle. I can't judge him. You know Clinton probably did some shit. Them saxophone players is freaky motherfuckers, dog. Anybody that plays black music but you ain't black, you're kind of weird. But he, he he gets a pass. Bill Clinton gets a pass. Uh, yeah. What up, motherfuckers? It's the Real Ass Podcast. It's your boy, Louis J. Gomez. Yeah, we used to, um, I used to take my sister's Barbies and we used to make them fuck my G.I. Joes. And Did you ever fuck a doll? You ever like, drill a hole in a doll? And, like, yeah, I talked about it in my act. Oh. I used to have a teddy bear that I would fuck um, regularly, like a giant white teddy bear with a little red T-shirt, and I slit all. It was like a, you you went out at the carnival, like a massive one. Yeah, and then I slit a little hole in it, and I fucking used to just fuck it every day. And my sister caught me fucking it one time. Oh my god! Yeah, do you feel like the cotton got stuck? To stuff? it wasn't even a good the like cotton because I was, used to do that. The cotton never felt good. It wasn't even cotton. It was a shitty. It was like a Rockland County Fair doll. So the inside of it was crushed was styrofoam filled with pills, oh. <laughs> <laughs> dirty needles, <laughs> it's fucking garbage bag, <laughs> just like oh, fish good. bones with the head still on it and fucking needles, band aids and empty Dunkaroo <laughs> containers. <laughs> Yeah, dude, it was, uh, no, it was, uh, inside of it was, like, styrofoam, like, broken down, like, almost like styrofoam that they would use. Like packing peanuts, almost? No, not packing peanuts, but, like, broken down, so it would crumble. It's like these little oh, tiny pieces of styrofoam. Okay. It was, you would know the feeling of a shitty teddy bear. Oh, it's all, it's, it's the feeling of a crunchy, kind of shitty teddy bear. <laughs> oh, my God. That, it wasn't even a soft, sexy teddy bear. <laughs> Do you still cool. have it? No. You could sell it for a lot of money. I know, I really could at this point. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could go back. She was my first love. But I used to fuck sort of all my teddy bears. I would um, have a little like... Uh, Even back then, he couldn't stick to one. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> I needed a variety. And my sister almost caught me one other time. I wonder, because she listens to the show. I wonder if she remembers this. I remember one time I was maybe like seven or eight, like not much older than my son, right? And I used to put the, the teddy bears on top of me and sort of like hump them. Mm -hmm. And then... I remember they must they must have been on to me because like I wasn't like hiding it very well like I'm a fucking dumb little kid, so uh, what did I do? Oh no, that's not what was happening. What? I'm sorry, <laughs> I got a little confused. I'm I'm mixing up what exactly happened. Okay, I'm sorry. What I would do is I would. I'm, my... I'm confusing the times I've been almost fucked caught <laughs> fucking inanimate objects. I know I would pull my pants down right completely. Okay. Pull my pants down, um, and I would hump the, the bed. I don't remember exactly what I did. What I did was my sister came over. I saw her come in the room. She saw me like trying to like hump the bed and she left. I was like, oh shit. And then I fixed myself and then I put the teddy bear on top of me and she came over and pulled my, the uh, the blanket down and I was like, oh, it's just a teddy bear. And then she was like, hmm. And she left. <laughs> and then I, like in my mind, like I never connected the idea. Like, yeah, she knew I was fucking yeah. jerking off as a kid. For sure. Well, I was trying to catch me as well. Let me be. <laughs> yeah. When I was you were in, way too young. Hold on. I what? was in kindergarten and my. Uh, you were so Damn quick it. to shut Zach up. Wait, wait, wait a second. <laughs> She's about to tell a story about how she I didn't know she Here comes a hot story. <laughs> I would have shut up too. <laughs> Hold on. Sorry, sorry. Anyway, everyone listen. The floor is yours. Can we get some music on for this story, Shannon? <laughs> Put yes. that French music back on. Can we get some Please. sexy music on for this story. Baby Shark. <laughs> Baby. I'd appreciate that. <laughs> okay. So yeah. when I was in kindergarten, mm. my teacher called my parents and told them that I was masturbating in class. What? I was hovering over the corners of tables <gasps> and she was concerned. Wow. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Putting that out as a clip. <laughs> yeah, you have to put that out. Just, with, like, 12 with, second, like, 12 with like second highlight clip. <laughs> the foggy heart like filter over it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so 
Yeah. And what happened? Did your, did your mom say anything? My parents were upset that she had a had a problem with it. <laughs> yeah. I was just a kid. You know. Right. You they were explore, very progressive. You were exploring your body. Some would say the tables have turned. <laughs> I don't mind it. All right. <laughs> Yeah. So did they say anything to you at the time, though? No, no, nothing at the Just time. Just years later. Later they told me, you know, we hated that teacher. She called us, complained about this. Wow. What were you doing? Do you remember doing that? I remember doing it in a non-sexual, like, I didn't think it was sexual, but I remember being like, oh, that's nice. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that is nice. Dude, me and my buddy, uh, me and, like, one of my first friends, we were really young. He was like, he lived on actually, my- Actually, can you give me a gun for a second? Yeah. Like, <laughs> so like, like, trumpet, like uh, ska Looney Tunes. music, <laughs> baby elephant walk. <laughs> Can you put on a uh, real big fish. Yeah, that's, that's funny. Good. Me and my buddy who lived on my block, we would we would walk around and put our dicks in like uh, car exhausts and like make like feel that would feel good to us. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Bare dick or bare dick, dude. Jeans? I would take my fucking dick out and just put it in a car exhaust for like a second, and it felt. It felt good. I just feel like it's a disgusting thing yeah. to do. Yeah, it's fu- it's gross, man. Don't judge me, you bear fucker. What did it feel like? It felt... Exhausting. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> that might have been the best moment in my life. It was. You doing that. Thanks. Um. So yeah, I mean, that's... It, so you started masturbating that young. Yeah, I suppose. Wow, you just continued on. Well, I took a break. <laughs> Until when? Tell us about your next time. No. <laughs> she took a season off for injury. <laughs> she was benched. <laughs> no, she's rubbing it on benches. <laughs> um, yeah, I started masturbating very, very young. Very uh, highly overactive libido. I knew what sex was. I don't remember ever there being a time where I didn't know what sex was. Hmm. You know, like I just always, knew, and I was always like a, a horny little kid. I remember like the, just find just finding porno magazines in the woods, and like in my neighbor's like garbage. They like there should be these condoms that would essentially have porn on the cover of the condom box. What really? Yeah, like a girl with her like puss spread and a guy with his hard dick right there. It was like little porno condoms, and we would find the used condom boxes from these this neighbor who would have these porno condoms <laughs> and we would like steal them we had a whole little stash of porno condom boxes that we like fucking look at <laughs> on the train on the way here there was this homeless guy and like um who was like very homeless you know there it ranges. there's levels there's harrington levels. was barely homeless yes yeah okay harrington is the king of mm-hmm. the homeless he's he was he's, a god He's the, of the homeless, he is the um, Jeff Bezos. He was like the 1% of the homeless. Yeah, he's a billionaire. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't even consider it. He's a king. He's a goddamn king. He's um, a pharaoh. This homeless guy. Uh-huh. What, what was the on a scale of one to 10? Like 10 being the most homeless person you've ever seen. I would give him a good eight and a half. Oof. Yeah, so he was up there, right? He was almost gonna die. Yeah, he looked and he was coughing. He was sneezing. There's shit coming He's out sick. of his mouth. Yeah. Once you pass this, once you pass like seven on the scale of homeless, it means you're, you're also sick. Yeah, 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 yeah you're sick. Yeah. Uh, I'm also. I also had to say I'm so tired of people coming onto the train with like infected legs asking for money. It, it really fucking bothers. Put your me. leg. You know what? I'm more likely to give you the money if you're not showing off your wound to me. How's that? Yeah. Just h- cover it up. Cover yeah. it up. Maybe I can't I'll... get near you even with a coin. You know what I mean? I'm running. I'll throw it at you. From I physically the place, get up and but... run on the train all the time. It's so rude, but I can't handle it, and I feel like I'll throw up. That feeling when somebody sits near you, you're like, "Oh no, I'm getting up." Yeah, you're like, well, "This is gonna look rude," but I'm moving to that. I'm seat. moving as fast as possible. Yeah, um, but yeah, this guy. So he sits in the. He's in the corner seat, right? So he like gets in the corner seat. He gets all comfortable. He puts his feet up. He puts his feet through the handrail. Which, by the way, he's kind of doing it right. Like if you're on an empty train and you have the ability to sit in the corner and jack yourself up, comfy. Funny that you said that. Mm-hmm. Because he put a jacket over himself, mm-hmm. and then, like God sent him an angel. This like girl that was like a ten got onto the train and she could have gone so many places. 
and she stood her ass right in front of his face. Mm -hmm. Like she just stood with, with her a perfect puppy, little ass. With a perfect little ass and a cute little face right in front of him. And instantly I saw him start jerking off. <laughs> like instantly you could just tell the jacket like started moving. <laughs> and it was, and I think she knew. She like, had to have known and was letting him. Like, let him start. So I might as well let him finish. <laughs> yeah. It's I've, my fault that he's here in the first place. I'm a, I'm a 10. I've never not let a man come. I mean, that's what every guy thinks of when he's doing that. Oh, they want me to do this. She it, wants me to. Yeah. And she. it seemed like she did. I was on his side. I was like, well, jack off. <laughs> she fucking she, loves it. She threw that ass in his face. Come oh, on her. And then this is the thing. So he's jacking off. He's got his feet through the arm thing, right? He's jacking off. I can see him. He's moving. got his legs up he's, and he's no, jacking he's got off. His legs, he's laying down. He's got his legs through the arm thing. Okay. So they're straight on. So they're straight. He's yes. laying down. They're sticking through uh -huh. to the other side, right? And a guy is standing there just like inches away from his leg. And as he's jacking off, he lifts it. I'm watching this whole thing. Like can't even focus on myself. Everyone's minding their own business. I'm like this. <laughs> like and her eyes are fucking glued. <laughs> yes. I can't stop watching to the point where I maybe was horny. Um, so he's <laughs> just the balls on this guy made Something me horny. Something about a hot homeless man all naked. <laughs> Something about not giving a fuck and just jacking off in her face. I was like, you know what? I have props. It is like a childlike mentality. Like when you'll just hump something in public, it's, you know? Yes. I but, need it right now. Yes. This is going to happen. Then he starts lifting his foot. And as he's jacking off, he just puts his foot on the back of the guy's thigh that's standing there. And the guy, like, doesn't really notice what's going on because he's not facing him. But he moves. He just feels like he got slightly kicked. But then I watch him reach further and touch him again. And he's just jacking off to this lady while touching this well, guy's thigh. Oh he's God. getting gang banged. I mean, and no one cared, and they just let him finish. Good for him, honestly. I know. Well, what I'm in conclusion, he's a king. Yeah, I'm think as you're telling this story, I'm thinking about how the homeless really don't have a safe place to jerk off. So, like, why not the train? Are we going to expect them to not do it? There in are public? so many alleys to jerk off in. Sister, the alleys are cold. You could yeah, sit down on a nice warm. There's train. also no snow bunnies throwing their ass in your face exactly. in an alley. <laughs> if I were homeless, I'd be masturbating on the train. I guess that's a place to do it. That's, that's a good place. We are their porn. We are New York City. This is your porn. <laughs> The city is your porn, baby. Just jerk it. That's her, That's New York City's motto. We're your porn. Just jerk it. You see this fresh-faced girl who just got here from Minnesota? She's your porn. Take her. Jerk her. <laughs> jerk it. Jerk it to her. Welcome to the New York City subway. <laughs> so, yeah, that happened. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, It's actually really frightening. Has anybody ever... Have you, uh, you... You didn't grow up in this city. I got jerked off at on the subway when I was, like, 13. <gasps> That was the first time that it ever happened to me. That's crazy. I was on my way to a dance class What'd with you do? three of my friends. And um, right across, literally right across the way from us, he was just like, huh? And we sat there for like another minute. And then he made his penis. He let him finish. And then. He made his penis visible. And my <gasps> friends were like, let's get up and go. And I was like, yeah, okay, let's get up and go. Because you guys, it was like one of those things where you weren't sure. You're not sure. I feel like when you're young, you're not sure whether you're whether leaving is going to make you like make him mad at you mm -hmm. you know yeah so we kind of hung in there for a second we're like you know we're getting off the next stop Maybe he was getting so horny they're like they're just watching me <laughs> <laughs> let's just watch him for one more stop see if he gets angry or not <laughs> I was like, he's not getting angry. He's going to come. That was it. We <laughs> you had guys little, don't leave. He's going to come. We had little ballet buns in. Oh, and yeah, like, you did. Like tights and stuff. Oh, yeah. Fucking looking cute. Yeah, that's all that he needed. Mm -hmm. He probably didn't even need the extra stop. He yeah, gave then, him what he wanted. Then when we got off, um, one of our friends wanted to report it to the police. And everybody else was like, we're going to class. Fuck, fuck off. <laughs> I don't want to go to the police right now. <laughs> He's jerking off. What do you want? <laughs> come on, idiot. <laughs> we're missing ballet. <laughs> He just jerked off. We're missing ballet. Let's go. Yeah. How is that for an accent? That was pretty good. Not that was bad. what I sounded like as a kid. Really? <laughs> no. Oh. oh. I was like, Jesus. You jerk off. Come on. Come on, you jerk off. Is that New York anymore? <laughs> did, did I change it? <laughs> it definitely changed. You let the guy jerk off on us. Come on. It's, it's more old school New York. It's like a little kid. I tell you, kid. <laughs> it's like a little kid in yeah. 1930. I tell you, Bobby. I tell him every time he's got to come home on time. And if he doesn't come home on time, Ricky's going to spank him. <laughs> That's more Long Island there at the oh. end. <laughs> I, yeah. I've never had a homeless man jerk off in 
on the train, but I've seen it in parks before. At you? I don't know if it was at me. This we we all know. But the come hit him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know if it was at me, but it was definitely with me. I don't know, you know? if it was at me, but it was salty. Okay, one of the genres of porn that we don't watch anymore because it, it messes up your brain, everybody. For if you're young men out there, it really does reconfigure your brain if you watch too much of it. But one of the more um, viewed uh, genres is lesbian porn. So uh, I wrote a scene for Christina, and I hope Shannon that you could step in, and um, and uh, it's it's about like a new roommate. It's a new roommate that comes and uh, and really, I like. Let's do it dry first. Dry. Oh my God, on a lesbian thing. Could you imagine? I'm gonna read it dry first. Just it's it's a roommate, Shannon. You're. You're the roommate coming in. You're more of a straight-laced Christian. And uh, Christina, you're kind of a airheady, sexually provocative. You're the person who lives there. So you guys are going to be roommates, and you really kind of have to work it out. And uh, this is, I think this takes place in the South. And uh, Shannon, you're from the, you're more from a, a North, okay, a Northern good. conservative. And uh, you're kind of a loose um, Southern girl. Okay. Okay. This is roommates. This probably, stuff probably really happens. You know what I mean? It probably really happened. So um, this is uh, kind of uh, ripped from true life. So mm -hmm. what, you guys ready to give this a shot? Yeah. I'm going to give it my okay. best. Okay. I'll say action. Kay. Okay. Ready, Shannon? Mm -hmm. action. action. Okay. Hi. I guess I'm your new roommate. Ha ha. You said, mate, that's so funny. I wasn't funny at all, but it's nice to meet you. I'm Shelly. Hi, Shelly. I'm Crimson. Nice to meet you, Crimson. What a unique name. Yeah, the woman in my family have history of harsh periods. That sounds awful. I guess, but that's the thing about history. It's in the past. You talk weird. I'm not so good at talking. I'm better at licking. What are you doing? Getting the first month's security deposit. If that's the case, don't worry about the upstairs. Why not? Because there's a flood in the basement, you whore. Now get down there and lick it up. Okay. Wow. <laughs> that was hot. I, I was really trying to not make it hot. <laughs> I, and that's annoying. Okay. I'm aroused. That was. I'm just imagining okay. a white trash. Yeah. Yeah. NASCAR loving. Yeah. Dale Earnhardt Jr. Right. right. Roadie. Yes. Um, mm. Shannon, I need you a little bit more um, um, conservative but cute. I need you cuter there, you know? Okay. Give me a little cuter. And um, Christina, can you, uh, you do the accent, but like, I need more like raw, like not as dumb, but more sexual. I'll try. Okay. All right. What, what do you think of this character, by the way? Do I you just, think she's dumb? Because I, it's like, it's I think like she, she is, but she doesn't care and she like yeah. pushes it. She leans into it. She leans into she it. She leans into it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Justin, do you have any notes on this? I, I'm, I'm just, Really blown because away. Because roommates by... really do have an adjustment period Mike, where they have to get together. It's not just about porn. I can't They wait. have to get used to each other. It's like, where do you put the coffee cups? Where do I put the coffee cups? Right. Where do you put the condiments? And then, you know, stuff can get sexual too in that. Yeah. Do you understand it's what like I'm saying? It's like a play within a play. Mike, I, I'm, yeah. I'm, something I'm so there. We're, just we're really dealing with a lot of underlying like waiting for Godot. This. this is really nice. I'm it's so, a lot of underlying issues. Yes, here. Yeah. I'm you just, know? I'm blown away. I'm observing and just learning. I, I have nothing to say other. I just want to, I'm, I'm, I'm an empty vessel taking this in. Well, I'm going to appoint you as the assistant director here. So if you have anything oh. you want to say, I mean, don't overstep me. No, 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 no. I'm no, the wait, director. No, the, you don't want to overstep me. I think the direction you gave was perfect. But also, you're inclined to give input here and also the actresses. I appreciate that. Do you guys feel comfortable with this? Yeah. Okay, Shannon, do you feel comfortable? Yeah. I want you to feel comfortable. Okay. It's key to this, you know, pulling this off. Let's do it again. Are you guys ready? Yes, I am. Need yes. a minute, Shannon. Ready. Okay, ready? Action. Hi, I guess I'm your new roommate. Ha <laughs> ha, you said, mate, that's so funny. That wasn't funny at all, but it's nice to meet you. I'm Shelly. Hi, Shelly, I'm Crimson. Nice to meet you, Crimson. What a unique name. Yeah, the woman in my family have a history of harsh periods. That sounds awful. I guess. But that's the thing about her story in the past. You talk weird. I'm not so good at talking. I'm better at licking. What are you doing? Getting the first month's security deposit. If that's the case, don't worry about the upstairs. Why not? Because there's a flood in the basement, you whore. Now get there. Oh, sorry. 
Because there's a flood in the basement, you whore. Now get down there and lick it up. Okay. Yes. Wow. <laughs> yes. Wow. That was because you understand what you're saying wow. there, Shannon. Yeah. It's like you've grabbed my tits, but now I'm moist. Yeah. It's like you flip it on her. <laughs> there like, was, she's a dirty, like sexual being. Literally and covered you, in dirt, too. You're very dirty. Yeah. Yes. And and Shannon, you're supposed to be like a religious whatever, but you're a freak. And you turn it on her. Can like I say when you something? turn it on her? Can I say something? Sure. What I was really impressed with this performance. Mm -hmm. I love how Christina yeah. just sort of let that little bit of um, sexuality go on that one line with that guttural. Uh, mm -hmm. Where was that? I'm not yeah, so good at talking. I'm better at looking. Better at looking. And then Shannon straight through and says, "But there's a hard <sighs> now. Get down there and lick it up." Like yeah. she saved it for the end. And it was really what we had was like a little teaser of what's to come. We wanted it. We wanted it. We wanted it. And then Shannon fucking bam. Right. Christina set it up with a jab. Christina did a good Shannon turn hit there. him with the right hand, yes. and that was the fucking the, the the. Let me say the chemistry even through this bulletproof glass, yes. so no one can. Uh, Which Shannon smell Shannon's stays that. behind. Wow. Um, I think it's really good, yeah. Shannon. Uh, when you go, what are you doing? Like, can you be like less accusatory and more confused? Like, oh, okay. what are you doing? But what are you doing? <laughs> yeah. I had my tits grabbed like this oh, before. I just don't know. And even when you say hi, can you just say it kind of more aloof? Like, I guess I'm your new roommate. <laughs> like, uh, like you're you're up for anything? Okay. You know what I mean? I guess I'm your new roommate. You this know, is the, you my fucking favorite. know that she's your new roommate. <laughs> You dirty motherfucker, you yeah, fucking know it. Fucking but you're know playing it. coy, yeah, aren't you? You fucking know it. Coy, you're fucking so know fucking it. dirty. You know she's your new roommate. You're Urgh. playing the game. Um, and uh, uh, can can you do it, Christina, without the accent, but oh. cutesy, like, ha ha. I want. I we already got the one with the accent in All the right. can. But ha ha, you said, mate, that's so funny. Like you're just cute, and it's like, it's uh, cuter and uh, simpler. Can I use a word? Yes. Like ditzier. ditzier, ditzier. Got it. Yeah, ditzier. let's go. Ditzier, let's roll. but in a sexual, very highly sexual way. Okay. Yeah. Okay. As opposed to those, you know, the cerebral porn actresses. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Action. Hi. I guess I'm your new roommate. <laughs> you said mate. That's so funny. Wow. That wasn't funny at all. But it's nice to meet you. I'm Shelly. Hi, Shelly. I'm Crimson. Nice to meet you, Crimson. What a unique name. Yeah. The women in my family have a history of harsh periods. That sounds awful. I guess. But that's the thing about history. It's in the past. You talk weird. I'm not so good at talking. I'm better at looking. What are you doing? Getting a first month's security deposit. If that's the case, don't worry about the upstairs. Why not? Because there's a flood in the basement, you whore. Now get down there and lick it up. Perfect. Wow. Oh, I'm blown away by that. Yeah. If Great you're job, at home Sam. and Great you're team. not wow. hard, you're having a problem. Wow. <laughs> you're having the problem. It's your fault, not ours. Unbelievable. That was a great one. Thank I like you. The range, This is very fun. Huge range on Thank that you. one. Thank you. Um, the, the thing that seems to be helping Bernie Sanders the most is the media attacks and the establishment attacks against him. And that, of course, he got, um, ironically, a big a big gift handed to him when Hillary Clinton uh, just came out in an interview recently. I think they were promoting her upcoming uh, documentary on Hulu that we talked about last show. And Hillary Clinton uh, said that nobody likes uh, Bernie Sanders and nobody wants to work with him. And it's a real shame that all these people have gotten suckered in, um, which was, you know, it did, it struck me as, as a bit odd. And I, it kind of made me almost kind of conclude that I was wrong uh, last week when I was speculating that maybe she'd get back into the race. Because if she was going to get back into the race, you would think the last thing she'd want to do is is alienate Bernie Sanders supporters. Although I guess she did a good job in 2016 of doing that. Really showed how uh, petty and stupid Hillary Clinton is. I mean, like, not that, not that Hillary Clinton's a stupid person. Not that she's a person. Uh, but she... She's, I think, so blinded by her own anger that anybody would have challenged her or damaged her in any way. Um, and so she just came out and, and said this. And, and, you know, it's like so tone deaf to the moment we live in. So she says, Bernie Sanders, she says, nobody likes him. Well, she followed that up immediately with saying nobody wants to work with him. So when you say nobody likes him, are you referring to 
people in the Senate, lobbyists, the mainstream media, like who who are you talking about here? Now, I have my problems with Bernie as just about as much as anybody, but to say nobody likes him, I mean, the guy got 100,000 people to donate to his campaign in one night. He's the most popular senator in America. He's got the most enthusiasm of any Democrat running for president by far. So, right, it doesn't seem like nobody likes him. So to make the statement nobody likes him and nobody wants to work with him, well, basically what you're saying is that nobody who matters likes him. Nobody who's not a fucking senator uh, likes him. But, you know, like how tone deaf can you be? That's a fucking compliment in the year 2020 that nobody in the establishment wants to work with you. Who, who the fuck wants somebody who's beloved by uh, the powerful? His whole campaign message is he wants a revolution and he wants to take on the, the powerful. So, yeah, that's it's just a compliment. But it does there there. You know, there's so many crazy things about like the the state of politics in America that it's easy to not appreciate another little crazy thing when you see it. But it is pretty wild to be in a situation where I mean, look, if Bernie Sanders wasn't Bernie Sanders, if he was Pete Buttigieg or Elizabeth Warren or, you know, anyone else, Kamala Harris or any of the people who dropped out, anything like that. And they were where he is in the polls. He was just in the latest uh, national poll. He was in first. Uh, he's basically in a statistical tie for first in Iowa and New Hampshire. He's had the, he has the most passionate support. If it was anybody else, they'd be saying this race is between Biden and Sanders right now. Um, that's not what's being reported, but that's the reality of the of the situation. That's what, who the race is between right now. And to have last uh, election cycle's nominee come out and just blast one of them is very unusual. It's very unusual. Like if you know. You wouldn't have seen George W. Bush come out and just say, like, you know, the, nobody likes Mitt Romney. That guy sucks. It would have been a weird thing to see. Um, and Or, you know, whoever, Rick Santorum or someone like that. Like, it would have been very strange. Uh, you just, you don't usually see things like this. Usually they either endorse somebody or they, uh, they stay quiet until it's the general election. And then they campaign for that person. The other thing that is kind of strange is that it's not as if Hillary's endorsed Joe Biden. I mean, Joe Biden was vice president when she was secretary of state. They were in the Senate together. They've, you know, they, they had a relationship when she was first lady and Joe Biden was defending her rapist husband. Uh, they've known each other for a long time. And it's not as if she's coming out and endorsing Joe Biden and criticizing Bernie Sanders. She's just criticizing Bernie Sanders. So... Take from that what you will. I, I don't know. Maybe the door still is open in, in her mind. Um, but it, it's very clear that she will never forgive Joe Biden, uh, excuse me, Bernie Sanders for, you know, running against her. There was not, but that was her nomination in her mind and nobody was allowed to challenge her. It also just shows you what a bitch Bernie Sanders is. I mean, the fact that Bernie Sanders bent the knee to this woman, went around, endorsed her, went around campaigning for her, and then this is what he gets in return. You know, there's, there is a lesson, or there's a couple lessons. Number one, don't be a bitch. Number two, don't suck up to the establishment. You'll get nothing in return for it. That's, I'm surprised people haven't learned these lessons before. I remember, uh, you know, in, when Rand Paul in 2012 was like endorsing Mitt Romney and he was saying all these nice things about Mitch McConnell. And I know that he had this idea that if he just endorsed Mitt Romney and, and chummed up, you know, got chummy with uh, Mitch McConnell, then, then they'd all endorse him in 2016. And none of them did. He got no support from any of them. They're never, it doesn't matter how much Bernie Sanders goes along with the party. The party's never going to go along with him. Anyway, they asked Bernie Sanders about this and he just dodged the question. He was just like, uh, you know, they asked him. I mean, he said something that was like remotely funny. They asked him uh, about Hillary saying, nobody likes you. And he said something like, well, I, I should hope my wife likes me or something. But again, it just really goes. It, it just shows the weakness of Bernie Sanders. And I know for a fact, because I've talked to a lot of people and I know some people who actually work for the campaign and stuff. There's a lot of people around Bernie Sanders who get really frustrated with this part of him. First off, they were frustrated that he endorsed Hillary Clinton, that he, he you know, like campaigned for her, um, that, you know, there was that whole like grassroots Bernie or bust movement and they wanted, that's what they wanted, Bernie or bust. And, uh, you know, he, he, uh, he basically told them, no, we're supporting Hillary Clinton. 
And I know that there's a lot of them who are just fucking very frustrated that he won't fight. He like refuses to fight. Oh, think about this, right? Let's say Bernie Sanders is telling the truth, which I, I tend to believe he is because Elizabeth Warren is, you know, a known liar. So let's say he was telling the truth that, uh, um, that like this conversation never happened and he never said that a woman couldn't be president. Just assuming that's the case, as I'm sure most Bernie supporters would, would believe. So Elizabeth Warren lied about him a couple weeks before Iowa in front of tens of millions of people. Uh, lies about him, basically calling him a sexist, stabbing her friend in the back for political purposes. Um, and then at the end of the debate, he goes to shake her hand like a fucking chump and she refuses to shake his hand and, and attacks him and says, you called me a liar on national television. And what is Bernie Sanders' instinctual response to that? What does he say? Let's not do this here. That's Bernie Sanders in a nutshell. Let's, let's not do this here. Oh, okay. Let's go. That's it. No fight. Nothing. You know, I mean, like, I'm sorry, but if you're saying I want to overthrow the entire establishment, I want to lead a revolution, uh, don't you have to be a little bit more of a fighter than that? Now, I'm not saying that Bernie Sanders is talking about leading a violent revolution. Like, okay, you don't need to be a killer, but you have to be willing to, to stand up for yourself. And if Hillary Clinton, you know, it's like, oh, my God, the argument is right there in front of you. It doesn't even take that much. How would you respond to Hillary Clinton? I mean, it's just right there. Well, I don't know. I mean, you, the DNC rigged the system for you and you still lost in the general to a cartoon character. I don't know. You could just say that. You could just say, um, it's like, well, I don't know. I campaigned and supported Hillary Clinton and she seemed quite fine with me when I was throwing my support behind her. Now, all of a sudden, nobody likes me. She seemed to like me just fine when she was asking me to go speak on her campaign trail. That's it. I mean, just... There's like 50 more, <laughs> just something. You got to give something. Um, but he just, he can't muster it up. And now I will introduce our guests. But well, wait, can I also give one quick thing for introducing our guests? Yeah, sure. Speaking of our idea that, you know, could fall by the wayside, it doesn't work out. But it's on the, my uh, list to talk about. The world's greatest game, uh, hottest chick, biggest shit. Yeah. I like hottest girl, biggest dump. Sounds funnier to me. They're both good. <laughs> it's not. You think hottest? Well, first of all, it's been hottest girl, biggest dump since you started it. I've never said anything besides hottest chick. I won't argue that I've said dump instead of shit before. Dump is funny. I'll, I'll leave chicken. Okay. Hottest chick, biggest dump. Sure. Okay, fine. It's the winner. <laughs> I see the poster saying shit, but I'm not going to make a whole thing about it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, no, that's a problem. It rhymes. But that's a problem. The poster I, I, can't say fine, shit. Fine, okay. okay. <laughs> well, you can, you standards, you, you, standards you, you, or practices you, gets involved. You throw an, you throw an asterisk in there uh, upside down. Okay. Actually, you've been to the party before, Ralph. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> but you reached out to me and said, like, you're gonna, we're going to scrap it if we don't get a contestant by a certain time. You happen to, I'm telling you within minutes, to the point where I almost thought you set it up oh, that's to funny. say that. Because I got a uh, in my what's an in, so on Instagram you get your the messages, but yeah. then there's the request, the request, message. which is messages yeah. of people who don't follow, you don't follow or whatever, and or you're not haven't allowed them to mm -hmm. write you yet. A woman wrote, a, I mean, a dissertation. She's a cute chick, mm -hmm. and she goes, "I'm uh I'd like to formally nominate myself as a contestant for hottest chick, biggest shit." Or she did you say shit or dump? I'll look. <laughs> 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 She says, I am uh, in the world. She called herself about a seven. Okay. Um, that's a, why are you laughing? I don't even know what she looks no, like. No, I was coughing. I wasn't laughing. Mm, I tried. You laughed. No. It was shitty. It was more of a little, uh, <laughs> trying to hold back a cough. It was weird. How, how hot did you say she was? She says she's a seven. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's a, uh, she's a cute chick for sure. And she says, uh, but she has nightmare dumps. That's a Huge quote. dumps. She said that one time she had a problem, had to go to a doctor to remove that some bitch. Wait a minute. No. I don't understand. Meaning she was constipated? She was so backed up with wow. this big ass dump that they had to go remove it. Oh, poor girl. So she says. Fucking C section? She's in. <laughs> Is so she we, coming to Skankfest already? You know what? I t let me see if there's a response. There might be a response in here. Okay, because that's was, cool. Uh, C section was, was funny. <laughs> Thank you. I, I thought so. Today I wrote back. I that's like awesome. It. I'll let you know if we get other contestants <laughs> or whatever. So let me see. Be cool. She'd win if she's the only contestant. She'd be the hottest girl and the biggest dump by default. And I'm curious if she said dump or shit. Can, while you're uh, doing it, can I introduce the guests? Hang on. All right, sorry. Not yet. 
Oh, here's the problem. Uh-oh, she's not going to say Ha-ha, that. I wish. I couldn't swing it this year. The lineup is amazing. I honestly thought you'd never see this. Oh, oh man. Uh, by the way, she may have renamed it <laughs> because this is better than all of ours. She goes, I'd like to formally nominate myself for the quote-unquote Hot Chicks Big Shits contest. <laughs> 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 Tell me a better name than that. Yes. Hot Chicks Big Shit. That's, that's good. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's, it. that's, it. that's real good. It's kind of hard to argue that one. Hot yeah. Chicks Big Shits. Fill her up. You're listening to the Gas Dish.